Go ahead, kid. And action. <laughs> Welcome to Tim's TV. We are here with Miss Minneapolis. Now we traveled all the way to Washington, D.C. to interview her. She's very hard to get a hold of, but we are here at CPAC with her. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your suicide prevention program. Yes, so I'm Miss Minneapolis this year and my goal is to reduce the suicide rate in Minnesota. Okay. And so while I'm actually out here for CPAC, I'm talking to members of the Minnesota delegation about how they can help me to reduce the suicide rate among not only their constituents but the veterans returning home. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's that's a great goal. I mean, I just do a TV show and you're actually <laughs> saving people's lives, so I'm pretty impressed. How old are you? I'm 22. You're 22 mm -hmm. and you're saving people's lives. Trying. That's, very that's hard. impressive. Um, <laughs> So, I know uh, the Affordable Care Act just went yes. into effect. What is, what's your opinion of the Affordable Care Act in general? I have seen the Affordable Speak up a little bit. Okay. Sorry. I've seen the Affordable Care Act hurt a lot of people my age, especially recent graduates who are no longer covered by their parents' health insurance, who have seen, either chose not to health, have health insurance for a reason, or have seen it personally affect how much they have to pay. So it's really hurting people my age who are trying to get their lives on track. Now, are you aware that there is a medical device surtax in the uh, Affordable Care Act? So heart valves, mm -hmm. leg stents, the screws that would go into a broken bone, mm -hmm. all have a federal tax on it to, to make healthcare more affordable. They're taxing everything the doctor uses. <laughs> now, you're in college. Mm -hmm. Does that math add up to you? That math does not add up. Even though I'm a liberal arts major, I can tell you that that math does not make any sense. So taxing something doesn't reduce its price, it increases it. Rumor has it, yes. <laughs> now, you're, you're from Minneapolis, mm -hmm. like I am, so we're both in the same boat here. Now, Al Franken did vote to in the Affordable Care Act to put the uh, medical device tax into effect. Do you think that is something that he should um, try to repeal or be held accountable for? I definitely hope that he is accountable for it. I don't think that there's anything funny about what he's done as a senator except for his comedian gigs. I believe that we should get a really good candidate in there and we have some really good ones in Minnesota and so hopefully he will have to pay for making a decision like that by losing his office and going back to the stage as a comedian. So do you think that the Al Franken decade is about up? I do actually. I think that Minnesotans thought it would be interesting to have him as a senator, just how we thought it would be interesting to have Jesse Ventura as a uh, governor. I like this. This is why she won Miss Minneapolis. She's very smart. Keep going. I'm sorry I interrupted. <laughs> and because of that, we got a taste of what it was like, and I don't think Minnesotans are too happy with his performance, no. You think after Al loses, he'll grow his hair out, dye it multiple colors, and moves to Mexico, and think that the government's out to get him? Anything better than being our senator. Bye, Al. <laughs> Um, well, we appreciate your time. Now, if people want to help out with your um, anti-suicide campaign, how can they help you out? I website? have a Facebook page. It's uh, Miss Minneapolis 2014 Julia Schlesing and a Weebly page, julia.schlesing at weebly.com. Now, you're also a singer, I understand. Mm -hmm. Now, if anybody wants to see you sing online or in person, where should they go? What should they do? They should come to the Miss Minnesota pageant on June 14th. Now support this lovely young lady, lovely young conservative for Miss Minnesota and potentially Miss America. That would be amazing. So is there anything they can do to support you besides showing up, making signs, yelling, screaming, what day and what location you get? June 14th is the Miss Minnesota pageant and that's at the Eden Prairie Performing Arts Center. And I would love to have a large cheering audience. Don't forget to make signs, Miss Minneapolis 2014, come out, support her. We need to support uh, amazing, not only beautiful, but extremely intelligent and funny. She's funnier than anything I've ever seen Al Franken say in the last <laughs> three to four decades. So we thank you very much thank for your you. time. We appreciate it. Thank you. And she makes me proud to be from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Oh, thank you. Easy enough. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you mind if I get a picture with you?